Hi everyone, hope you're all taking the boat. Um, today I've got the wireless Go Rode mics and what I'm going to do is do a comparison test for you against the traditional vlogging one, you know, the one with a dead cat on it, the Rode Pro Plus one. Um, we're going to go out and test it in various different environments. None of this stuff going through the technical side and all that. All the links for that are down below if you want to check them out. And there's also links of where to buy these if you fancy doing that. Um, so without any further ado, let's get on with it. See you in a sec. Lust for something unknown Right then, first test we're going to do is start up an engine and see on whether or not you can hear it and hopefully you can hear it now. At the moment I've got the wireless go on but let's get the engine started up. And I will just show you the setup we've got, fire up the old uh, M50 here. Hopefully you can see, we've got the old Rode Pro on there. Alright, and then we've got the Rode Wireless Go there. Right, so, let's get it sorted. So, that's the engine going, so you can get the sound of that. In a minute, I'm going to unplug this and do it on manual, and then we'll try it on the Rode uh, Pro Plus with the old hairy cat on it. So hopefully you can hear this. I won't know until we get back in the studio, but this is a test with the Rode Wireless Go. That's the Rode Pro Plus plugged in, and that's the test of that. So we had the engine noise at the beginning, and now you've got me speaking over the top of it. So hopefully, it sounded all right as well, but we'll check that out when we get back to the studio. Next, we're gonna test it with nothing on whatsoever. This is a test with no external mic whatsoever. Um, hopefully you can hear the engine ticking over and hopefully you can tell a difference between this. But like I said, we'll check it out when we get back to the uh, studio. So next test we're gonna do is driving around in a car and see what the difference that makes. See you in a bit. Okay, so. That was the engine test. Um, in a minute, we're going to get out and do a drive test. But what I thought I'd do is because a lot of people do um, vlogging and that from the car when they're stationary, I thought I'd do us a quick test now. So at the moment, I've got the Rode Pro Plus mic. That's the powered one plugged in. Okay, for you to be able to tell the difference on that one. Hopefully, it's all tickety boo. Um, I won't be able to change, test this until I get back into the studio. So let's get on with testing the Rode Go wireless mic. And there's one good tip I'd like to offer you. I set up the old M50 here a minute. Okay, and what you will find if we can get the settings right, yeah, I've got that set up there. Okay, I'm going to plug the um, wireless Go mic there, plug that one into the socket over there. But also, the great thing with it is you don't even have to have it clipped onto you, you don't have to have it up there. What I've done, as you can probably see, hopefully, yeah, it's just up there. All right. I've got it set up there and hopefully that's going to work really, really well. So when you're driving, you won't have to even look at the camera. You can be talking this way and you know that you can get the clear direction of your voice into the microphone. So let's have a look and see what that one's like. See you in a sec. Right, we've now got the wireless Go mic plugged in. It's up there, like I said to you before. Hopefully we can see what the sound's like from the side as well. But in a minute, I'm going to start driving and then obviously I'll be facing it. So we'll see what that's like. And let's get going. Seatbelt first, got that the old safety. Say hello to the neighbours as we go past them. Hiya. Anyway, um, let's just talk and ramble on, shall we? So hopefully this is sounding pretty tickety boo and we're getting a good understanding of what it's like. Uh, get up on the main road in a sec and we will see whether or not it works as well as the Rode Pro Plus mic. Come up to a junction now, so bear with me. And while I was editing this, I was gonna cut this piece out, but I thought I'd leave it in soon as it was a real life review and give you a bit of a laugh. Plus, later on, you'll see a bit of a drone crash. So make sure you stay tuned, see you in a sec. And yeah, let's go for it. So we're on the main road and the camera's falling over. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to do this every time because I have to pull over and swap the mics over. But bear with me and I'll uh, try and say similar stuff as we go along. 
So, hope you're all tickety boo and you can hear this. I'll be able to tell when I get back to the studio whether or not it's working well. Um, but that's probably enough for now, um, just to get the gist of it, and you can work it out from there. So, I'll just pull over and I'll swipe them, swap the microphones over. Right, okay, I've got the Rode Plus um, mic on there, the Rode Pro Plus even. Like I said, all the details are down below. Let's get on and try that one and see what that sounds like, different to the Rode Wireless one, which was just on. So, um, hopefully you can hear this and it's all tickety-boo, try and use the same sort of sentences as we go along. And like I said, when we get back to the studio, we'll be able to test this out. And also, you'll be able to rewind this as much as you like and make your own mind up. But to be honest here, I still think the convenience of the wireless go one is um, better because it saves you having to plug in that great big fairy cat on the top also it's a little bit um more inconspicuous isn't it so if you're driving along like this with a great big eosr camera sat in the front without the uh old cat on the top i'm sure less people will actually realize that you're videoing anyway that's enough for now and i'll uh gonna get somewhere else so that we can test it out probably near the sea so i'll see you in a sec I'm down the beach now, I'm going to test it by the water. This is the setup we've got. Let's get the M50 out. And so you can see, we've got the old EOSR there. We've got that mic on there, that mic. And we've got the wireless one on the side. Hopefully, it'll give it a good crack. See you in a sec. Right, this one is the Rode Mic Pro Plus. It's a power assisted one. Uh, it's the one with a dead cat on it. And I'm hoping that you'll be able to hear the difference between this and the standard road one. Anyway, hopefully it's tickety-boo and you can get the feeling of it yourselves. And next one we're going to move on to is the Wireless Go Pro mic, whatever it's called. Is it the Go Road Pryless? Nah, something like that. Anyway, let's get on to that one. So this is Rode Wireless Go mic, um, all plugged in, in the same place as I was just testing the other ones. Hopefully you can tell the difference between it, and um, to be honest, it's pretty tickety-boo to me, because the fact that you can't see it that on that well, when it's on top of the camera, it does make it look a little bit more inconspicuous, I suppose that's the right word to use, um, other than the fact that I'm walking around with a great big camera and a great big lens pointing at myself. People think I'm probably mad. Anyway, see you all in a bit. Right, I thought I'd come up the common because there's pretty wind up here normally to give it a good test and see where it's going. At the moment, I've got the wireless uh, road go on, and but as you can see, it's uh, flat as a pancake up here and a bit misty, so there ain't much wind around to give it a good test. So what I thought I'd do is give the drone a shot up in the air and see if that interferes with it. So let's have a look at that one. Take off. Now then, let's see. Can you hear me talking now? It's a bit of a test. I'll bring it right over to me and see if it interferes. And I think that'll probably be the best test we can give it. So let's shoot off and see where the drone's going. So here's that drone crash. It wasn't as bad as I thought, and it did fly afterwards. See what you think. So after that little crash, what we've got is the Rode Pro Plus. That's the powered one, the old uh, dead cat on the top of it. That's plugged in now. So hopefully you can tell the difference between the sound. And like I said, I'll have a look at it when I get back to the studio. So let's have a look what it's like with the drone going next to it. So can you hear me talking now? I'm not sure whether it's interfering or not, and what the sound quality is like. And we'll just zoom the drone off up to the last one, hopefully not crash it this time. There we go. So I wonder what it sounds like now. Anyway, you'll be able to work that out for yourself and um, make a good guess. See you in a bit. Right, there you go. Um, you'd be able to make your own mind up from that. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but for myself personally, I think they've both got the pros and cons. Um, the small one itself, it's nice to have it clicked onto you, and the small box on top of the camera, it's a little bit less um, inconspicuous when you're walking around vlogging, and also the sound quality of it, it's really good, I believe. Uh, the Pro Plus one, yes, I do believe that the sound's going to be better on there, um, but with that dead cat on it and things like that, it's just a big bulky thing to carry around. And to be honest with you, I'm probably going to use both of them. But if you're going to choose one, personally, I would go for the um, wireless one because the versatility, versatility even of that one and the fact that you can clip it here, there and everywhere. And as you saw in the car, you can get it up on the visor if you're doing that sort of thing. I think it'd be a lot more useful for you 
However, if you're not doing vlogging, then you may want to go for the Pro Plus one. I'll leave that decision down to you. As I said earlier on, links down below if you want to buy those. And if you enjoyed this one, this is a keep it simply simple video as we try and do with all of our reviews. Yeah, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like, and why not leave a comment down below and tell us what else you'd like us to review. And then we'll see what we can do. So, see you later. Cheers and gone.